वेलकम बैक एस इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू यूज ए एम डी सेफ एस आर थ्री फेम जनरेशन टेक्निक इन हॉकवर्ड्स लेगेसी रनिंग ऑन स्टीम डेक हैविंग स्टीम ओ एस आई एल बी यूजिंग अ प्रोग्राम कॉल डी एल एस एस इनेबलर दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम आई एम कवरिंग डी एल एस एस इनेबलर ऑन स्टीम डेक आई एल क्विकली एक्सप्लेन टू यू इट्स फंक्शनिंग द प्रोग्राम इंक्लूड्स मल्टीपल मॉड्स इट इंस्टॉल्स एंड ऑटोमेटिकली कन्फिगर्स दैम फॉर एस वी जस्ट नीड टू इंस्टॉल डी एल एस एस इनेबलर इन द गेम्स इंस्टॉल डायरेक्टरी विद द गेम्स ई एक्सी फाइल इज प्रेजेंट This flowchart nicely summarizes its functioning. This is the game. It interacts with DLSS enabler that emulates NVIDIA API for all GPUs, Intel, AMD, and even NVIDIA. Both RTX and GTX GPUs are supported. OptiScaler mod provided by Nitec is used to replace DLSS subscaling with either FSR or XCSS subscaling. Very useful for people who don't have an RTX-based GPU when running DirectX 12 games using DLSS enabler. It uses XCSS upscaler by default. We can change the upscaler by adding the nvngx.ini file. I'll show you this in the later part. FSR 2.1 and FSR 2.2 are also supported. Nvidia spoofers are used that trick the games into thinking that they are running on an Nvidia-based GPU. Newcam 9's DLSS G2 FSR 3 mod is used in order to replace DLSS frame generation with FSR frame generation. Originally this mod works only on RTX based GPU but using DLSS enabler you'll be able to use this mod with any GPU whether it's from Intel Nvidia or AMD giving credits to the people involved in the project first we have Arthur author of DLSS enabler then we have Newcam9 for providing DLSS G2 FSR 3 mod then we have Nitec for providing OptiScaler mod then we have Fake Mikao for providing NV API dummy its purpose is to spoof an Nvidia based GPU then we have Nitec for providing DirectX 12 proxy it's an Nvidia spoofer for Intel and AMD GPUs on DirectX big thanks to the community of DLSS 2 FSR Discord server for providing support you can download DLSS enabler from Nexus Mods website for absolutely free i'll give its link in the description of the video need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here you just scroll all the way up to the top click on files download the latest version of DLSS enabler from here click on manual download click on download the general install instructions are very simple just need to install dlss enabler in the games install directory a few more additional steps may be required for some games after the download is complete just open dolphin file explorer go to downloads and there is the exe file corresponding to dlss enabler this is steam was running in desktop mode just open steam go to library Select Hogwarts Legacy. Right click, Manage, then click on Browse Local Files. This is the Games Install Directory. Open Phoenix folder. Open Pioneer's folder. Open Win64 folder. There is the Games EXE file. This is the directory where you need to install DLSS Enabler. Just open Proton Tricks. You can download this application for absolutely free from Discover Store. Hey, look for Hogwarts Legacy. There it is. This is its Steam ID: nine nine zero zero eight zero. Double click. Wait for the next window to pop up. It will take a few seconds. Check this circle. Select the default wine pricks. Click on OK. Now check this circle. Run Explorer. Then click on OK. This window will pop up. Now you just need to navigate to the directory where DLSS enabler setup file is present. It's downloads directory in my case, so I'll just open my computer. Then open Z drive, internal SSD. Then open home folder. then open deck folder look for download folder there it is here look for dlss enabler setup file and there it is dlss enabler installer double click and this window will pop up select i accept next next here you need to specify the games installed directory where the installer will install all of the mods click on browse i've installed the game on steam dex internal storage So just open Z Drive folder, then open Home folder, open Deck folder. Now open .dot local folder, open Share folder. Scroll down a bit. Here look for Steam folder. There it is. Open it. Here look for Steam Apps folder. Then open Common folder. Here look for Hogwarts Legacy. There it is. Open the folder. Then open Phoenix folder. Open Binaries folder. Win64 folder. This is the directory where you need to install DLSS enabler. Okay. This is what it looks like in the end. I'll provide this directory in the description of the video. If you have installed the game on Dex internal SSD, 
you can just copy this directory from the description and paste it here click on next make sure first option is checked install dlss named dll module as a version.dll file also check this option enable support for amd and intel gpus click on next install wait for the process to complete uncheck this box that's it click on finish close these windows go back to a directory where you install dlss enabler this is the directory now you'll see many mods installed here we need to execute this registry file disable nvidia signature checks in order to revert its changes just execute this registry file restore nvidia signature checks i'll be using proton tricks to execute this registry file first just create its backup i'll just transfer it to the desktop area will make it easier for us to access the registry file via proton tricks right click anywhere on the desktop then click paste one file there is the registry file now just open proton tricks select hogwarts legacy okay check this circle corresponding to select the default wine tricks okay now select this option run registered okay this window will pop up just click on registry here then click on import registry file we need to navigate to a directory where disable nvidia signature check file is present on the desktop and just click on z drive then click on home folder open the folder then open dec folder here look for desktop folder there is the registry file double click okay we are done and close this window now hogwarts legacy uses dlss version 3.7 so we need to perform an additional step this step won't be required in the future builds of dlss enabler open the games install directory then open engine folder then open plugins folder open runtime folder open nvidia folder open dlss folder open binaries folder open third party folder then open win64 folder create a backup of this file nvngx dlss.dll I'll just move it to the desktop. Paste it here. Need to rename this file. Right click. Rename. Just type underscore nvngx. Extension should be dll. Copy this file. Open the games install directory. open phoenix folder open binaries folder open win64 folder paste the file here now this file is already present in this directory there it is so you will be required to overwrite this file overwrite you also need to add a launch option select the game in your steam library right click properties this is the launch option i'll provide it in the description of the video you can copy it from there and paste it here i'm using G Proton version 9-7 as the compatibility layer for this game. The default upscaler used for DirectX 12 games is XCSS. If you want to switch to FSR 2.2, just open this INI file nvngx.ini. You can see the other parameters here: frame generation, frame rate limit, upscalers. DirectX 12 upscaler is set to auto, which defaults to XCSS. If you want to switch to FSR 2.2, just replace auto with fsr22 if you want to switch to fsr2.1 just replace auto with fsr21 then click on save here close the file we are ready to run the game i'll switch to steam as gaming mode i have connected my cosmic bytes the laris gamepad to deck via bluetooth mode launch the game this game consumes a lot of memory so i'll be running it using the low preset on steam deck game may crash a couple of times after installing the mod happens even on my desktop pc performance tab only level set to 2 i own the lcd variant of steam deck overclocked its display from 60 to 70 hertz that's it game settings we have access to dlss upscaler which is basically xcss use its balance preset upscale sharpness set to nil frame generation disable for the time being Vsync disabled, motion blur and frame grain disabled. Using the low preset, ray tracing disabled. 
and loot the Hawksmeat area. Yeah, there is a character standing at the entrance of Hawksmeat. Got that page. FPS is around 33 to 40. Can observe the choppiness. It is very demanding. Sprinting around FPS drop down to around 29. Now I'll enable frame generation. Set it to on. It'll read the same sequence. There's a character. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. FPS increased to around 70. Input delay is present, but it's manageable. Camera is floating. Game side is not flickering. Just explore the area. Almost hitting the GPU bottleneck. 60 to 70 FPS. Good to see DLSS enabler working on. Steam Deck, we wake up here, 57 FPS, FSR 3 is trying to double the base FPS, I'll be flying around, first I need to leave the no flying zone, not observing any artifacts around the character model. When I move the camera in complete circles, you can see some garbled textures around the left and right edges of the display. Take this route. Should be able to equip my broom now. There's the prong. Flying around. Stunning visuals, you can see the castle in the background. Look for the bad guys. Big open world. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Activity. Oh my god, what's that? Yeah, dodge the attack. Good performance even during combat. This time I dodge the attack. the area that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day